In today's lesson, we're going to be factoring a trinomial when a is not 1. So my quadratic trinomial looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c, that's standard form. And today we're going to be factoring trinomials when this a value is not 1. So it's a number other than 1. And this particular method is called the slide and divide method. I've actually heard it called the slip and slide method. I kind of like slip, divide, and slide. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to slide a into c. So I'm going to write this down here, ax squared plus bx plus c. So a times c, which we've seen before we've been doing. And then we're going to factor it like it's a basic trinomial. But our last step, which a lot of students forget to do when this a value is not 1, they forget to do 3 and 4. Then you're going to divide a out of your last terms in each binomial and simplify the fractions. Then slide the denominator into your first terms. So I kind of like slip, divide, and slide, or just slide and divide. So your notes might look slightly different than what you're about to see, but all the content remains the same. So just follow along and fill in your notes. Okay, so let's look at number one. Okay, I'm going to zoom in here. So number one, step one says slip A into C. So the first thing I'm going to do, when I have this, I call it a slip and slide trinomial, trinomial when A is not one, I'm noticing that there is a number in front of X squared. Okay. All right, so we're going to slip A into C. And that means multiply a times c. And I'm going to rewrite this as x squared minus 8x, and then 3 times 4 is 12. So now, just like we did previously, I need two numbers that multiply to 12 and add to negative 8. What are those two numbers? Negative 6 and negative 2. Because negative 6 times negative 2 is 12, and negative 6 plus negative 2 is negative 8. So just like I said, if you're struggling with that part, you might want to refer to the previous lesson over factoring a basic trinomial when a is 1. So just like we slipped a into c, we multiplied this first number in, in our first term into our last term. Now we need to divide it out of our last term. So we're on to step 3. I'm going to divide 3 out of our last terms. And I need to simplify it like I would a fraction. So this 6 over 3 in our first binomial becomes 2 over 1. And then I notice I can't simplify the second fraction in this binomial over here. So that's kind of why I like it called slip, divide. And then here's the slide part. I'm going to take what's in my denominator and I'm going to put it back into the first term. So I'm going to slide that back into the first terms. So 1x minus 2 is just x minus 2, and then 3x minus 2 right here. So I know that's a little confusing, so let's do another example. On number 2, again, notice that I have a coefficient, or my leading coefficient is a number other than 1, and I can't factor out a GCF, so I know at this point I need to do a slip and slide trinomial. How do I do that? I'm going to slip a into c, multiply a times c, and we're going to rewrite it as x squared minus 15x minus 4 times 25 is 100. So now we're going to factor two numbers that multiply to negative 100, two numbers that multiply to negative 100. Okay, one's positive and one's negative, right? If one's positive and one's negative, I'm really subtracting to 15. What are those two numbers? 20 and 5. So which one's negative? Take the sign of the larger number. Negative 20 is over here. 5 is over there. So x plus 5 times x minus 20. So there's that. Um, we factored it like a basic trinomial. And now we're going to divide a out of the last term. So a was 4. So I'm going to divide a out of those last terms, and I simplify if I can. I can't in this first uh, fraction over here, the one on the left, but I can in the one on the right. 20 over 4, what does that simplify to? 
5 over 1. And now we slide it back into our first term, slip and slide. So our first binomial becomes 4x plus 5. And the second binomial becomes 1x minus 5, or just x minus 5. Now what can you do to check your work and make sure that you got the right factors? You can FOIL it. Okay, so let's go to the next examples. 3 and 4. Rockin' and rollin'. So 3 and 4. Um, number 3, I can't factor out a GCF. I always need to look at that first. So I'm going to slip A into C because this is a slip and slide trinomial. And now we're back to it looks like just a basic trinomial where I need two numbers that multiply to 36 and add to 37. What are those two numbers? 36 and 1. 36 times 1 is 36. 36 plus 1 is 37. So x plus 36 times x plus 1. And now what do we do at this point? We multiplied that a into our last term, a times c. Now we need to divide it out. That's why I like it to call it slip, divide, and slide because there's this divide part right here. And then I simplify these right here, I'm going to change colors so you can see. I'm going to simplify this right here and this right here like it's a fraction. A lot of students really struggle with this. If you plug in 36 divided by 6, math, enter, enter on your calculator, it'll simplify that fraction. This becomes 6 over 1, and I can't simplify 1 over 6. So now is my slide part. I'm going to slide that back into the first terms. And then what are my binomial factors going to look like? 1x plus 6 becomes x plus 6, and then 6x plus 1, and you can always FOIL it to make sure you've got the right answer. Looking at number 4, I'm looking for a GCF. I can't factor out a GCF, so I know I'm dealing with a slip and slide trinomial. Three terms, and I've got x squared right here. In my first term, I'm going to multiply 2 times negative 27. So what's my trinomial going to look like now? x squared plus 3x minus 54. Now I need two numbers that multiply to negative 54. Tell me about the signs of those numbers. One's positive and one's negative because my product is negative, which means I'm really subtracting to 3. So what are my two numbers that multiply to 54 and subtract to 3? 9 and 6. Which one's going to be positive and which one's going to be negative? Because this 3 is positive, the bigger number is positive. So positive 9 and negative 6. So I'm going to write my factors just like that. x plus 9 times x minus 6. So what's the next step? If you look at your steps to factor, step 3 says divide a out of the last terms. What was a? a was 2. So let's divide 2 out of those last terms and let's simplify if possible. I can't simplify 9 over 2. Can I simplify 6 over 2? I sure can. I'm going to change colors here. I can. That simplifies to 3 over 1. And now we've got our fractions simplified, the most they can be simplified. So I'm going to slide those denominators back into the first term. So what are my binomial factors going to look like? 2x plus 9 and 1x minus 3, or just x minus 3. All right, very good. So now we're getting to into the portion where, I'm going to tell you right now, we've got a GCF. When I'm looking at these three terms in my trinomial right here, I notice they're all even. So I know they're divisible by 2. There's actually a number that's greater than 2 that they're all divisible by, which that would be my greatest common factor, and it's 4. So I can factor out a GCF of 4 from every term. Again, if you struggle with factoring out a GCF, I've got a tutorial video over that too. When I factor out a 4 from each term, I'm left with 4x squared plus 15x minus 25. So even after factoring out a GCF, I still have a coefficient other than 1, a leading coefficient in this trinomial other than 1. Which, means, which tells me I'm going to factor a slip and slide trinomial. So I'm going to slip a into c, 4 times negative 25, and I'm left with x squared plus 15x minus 100. So now I need two numbers that multiply to 100 
and really subtract to 15. So if you want to pause this video and think about what those two numbers are, that's a good idea. I'm going to tell you those two numbers. x plus 20 and x minus 5. 20 times 5, negative 5 is negative 100. 20 minus 5 is 15, or 20 plus negative 5. So since we're in the slip and slide trinomial, and that's what we factored, what did we multiply into, into c? We multiplied this 4. So what do we need to divide out? We need to divide out that 4. And then we're going to simplify our fractions. So let's simplify. 20 over 4 simplifies to 5 over 1. And then I can't simplify this 5 over 4. So what portion are we at in our steps? The last, the last one. I'm going to slide this back into the first terms. And I'm left with 1x plus 5, which is just x plus 5, then 4x minus 5, and then what am I forgetting? My GCF. You need to make sure you remember your GCF if you're factoring out a GCF. Okay, let's look at number 6, last one. They're all even, so they're definitely all divisible by 2. When I factor out a 2 from every single term, I'm left with 3x squared minus 2x minus 8. And I know that's my GCF because they have no other factors common between them. So I'm left inside my parentheses with a slip and slide trinomial. So I'm going to slip A into C to get x squared minus 2x minus 24. I need two numbers that multiply to 24 or multiply to negative 24 and have a sum of negative 2. What are those two numbers? So we're really multiplying to 24 and subtracting to 2. Negative 6 and 4. So I'm going to write those like this. And then at this point, what do I need to do? Because it's a slip and slide trinomial and I slipped A into C, now I need to divide that out of my last terms. Then I need to simplify it. That becomes 2 over 1. And then slide it back into our first terms. So my factors are x minus 2 times 3x plus 4. And what do I need to make sure I not forget? This GCF out in front. So here are your factors for 6x squared minus 4x minus 16. And how can you check your work? You can multiply your answer to see if you get 6x squared minus 4x minus 16. So that concludes your notes over factoring a trinomial using the slip and slide method, or the slip divide and slide method, or the slide and divide method, whatever you want to call it. Hope it was helpful.